Jesus, he was known for being a man who walked around doing miracles, signs and wonders. Yeah. But what about today? Is Jesus still doing miracles? Yes, Jesus is still doing miracles. Uh, the scripture tells us in Hebrews 13, 8, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Uh, you know, I believe that cessationalists and dispensationalists a group of people that subscribe to the mentality of unbelief, that believe that uh, the days of miracles were over with the death of the 12 apostles. However, there was never a day of miracle. There was only a God of miracles. Why wow, generations have come and gone, but God is still alive. So there is a God of miracles that is alive, and he's still doing miracles today. So tell me, what is one of your greatest miracles you have seen in your ministry? Well, first of all, we, I consider the greatest miracle is the miracle of salvation. People uh, getting transformed, the miracle of transformation. People giving their life, turning their life around, giving their life to Jesus. But physically, you know, first, when you start to talk about miracles, there are different kinds of miracles. You have intellectual miracles. For instance, when prophets of God supernaturally receive uh, words and information that they couldn't possibly know in the natural yeah, that's an intellectual miracle. And uh, for instance, uh, in the scriptures, the scripture says that Jesus knew their thoughts. Uh, Jesus said to Philip, I saw you under the tree and he marveled. An intellectual miracle. That has happened in our ministry, for instance, where, you know, last week in London, I was able to speak prophetically into the life of somebody and tell them exactly the date, what happened in their life three years earlier. That's called word of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And as a result, you can imagine how intellectually the person was surprised to know that I had so much information about her life. Another instance in Manchester here, I was able to, to see a timeline, you know, prophesying the timeline, knowing what happened in somebody's life in 1996, mm -hmm. you know, specifically saying that the person was raped mm -hmm. and be able to give a prophetic word to them and they were healed. Ment uh, mentally, they were they were set free to realize that the confusion that caused uh, that was caused by this particular uh, situation. And then we have uh, physical miracles. You know, for instance, you know we've seen blind people healed. Just like uh, recently we were in South Africa. You know, uh, we've seen the Lord open the eyes of someone that was blind, uh, somebody else that was deaf. You know, for five years. And actually, it was pretty interesting about the way this miracle took place because the lady actually had her eardrum. It was perforated because of glasses that had gone into her ears when somebody threw a rock in the car that she was riding. And so for this miracle to take place, there had to be a creative miracle. Her eardrums had to be reconstructed. And that, was, that happened. Basically, her ear was open. Another amazing miracle that happened in Watonga, Oklahoma, in America, it was a lady, Sharon Lee, she was dead mm -hmm. in the emergency room, uh, proclaimed dead in front of two doctors and four nurses. And I was there and I was able to pray for her. And when she was proclaimed dead, they say she's been dead over 40 minutes. She was brain dead. Even that means that even if she came back, she couldn't be normal because they say she'd be like a veg, she'd be vegetable. But anyways, uh, she